Hey, what's up guys? Welcome to Target Focus Life. My name is Steve, and today I have the Stevens 555 12 gauge over under shotgun. So if you're looking for a detailed and in-depth review, you've come to the right place. Let's go. Stevens calls the 555 a world-class performing over under at an affordable price. And it definitely is on a lower price point, 768 MSRP. And I know a lot of you guys have been asking, can you do some cheaper guns, more affordable guns? And this is one of the cheaper over unders on the market. So I thought it'd be fun today to put it to the test, see what it's made of. They called it world class. I've shot a lot of nice over unders and I don't mean like super crazy expensive, but two to three thousand dollar over unders. So it's gonna be hard to call this world class right off the bat. But one thing I can tell you is it's extremely light. In fact, let's jump into talking about the specs of this shotgun. As I mentioned, it is a 12 gauge shotgun, but it's also available in several other calibers, including 410, 16, 20, and 28 gauge shotguns. This is a very light gun, six pounds, five ounces. When you pick it up, you're like, oh, shoot. There ain't nothing to that. Aluminum receiver, which is a pro and a con. Pro when it comes to weight. Con is aluminum receivers aren't nearly as durable as steel receivers for the most part. And when I look at this gun, I have a big concern with durability, but we'll get to that in a minute. With lightweight, it makes it extremely fast to whip around, carry through the field, you're hardly even gonna notice you have it on you. One of the downsides of having a shotgun that is so light is often recoil is felt a lot more. And we're gonna put that to the test in just a few minutes here. The length of pull of this shotgun is 14 and a quarter inches. Drop at comb is an inch and a half, and the drop at heel is two and an eighth inches. This gun comes with five flush mount chokes, cylinder, improved cylinder, mod, improved mod, and full. Let's check out the trigger right here. Ooh. Not light, not clean, heavy. I'm saying we're into seven pounds on this one. At least that's what it feels like. Six pounds, 5.6 ounces on the first one. Let's enter that. Six pounds, 4.7 ounces. So we're looking at about six pounds, five ounces on this shotgun. It's actually a little bit lighter than I thought it would be, but it feels pretty tough, to be honest with you, on that trigger pull. If you're any what particular on trigger pull, and trigger weight, this might be a bit heavy for you. I myself like guns from four and a half pounds to five and a half pounds. That's a really nice spot for me, but that's what it is on this shotgun. A couple other things to point out with specs, it does not have auto ejectors. So heads up there. Steven says this gun's packed full of features. I'm not really sure what features it's packed full of, but it is an economy shotgun, sub $800 over under shotgun. Looking at the ergonomics of this shotgun, the grip, I'm pretty happy with the grip size, feel. The checkering is a little aggressive, very small. Very small checkering, but it looks, it looks decent. Nothing's fancy with the wood. This is just standard grade wood, Turkish walnut. It does have a Schnabel forend, which I like. I like those Schnabel forends. Balance wise, often a balance point can be close to those hinges. You can see we're not anywhere close to that. Balance point is forward. I mean, the whole gun feels light, but it feels a little forward heavy to me. Safety selector, works pretty smooth. It's a little stiff. Under barrel on the left side as most over-unders. Over barrel on the right side. A little, not super smooth. I mean, a little bit stiff, but it, everything's tight, which is what you would hope for out of a brand new shotgun. Uh, other things to think about with ergonomics on this one, Recoil pad is just kind of a hard rubber pad. Not a whole lot going on there. It does have a single brass bead, which is totally adequate. Vented rib, vented barrels, aluminum receiver, which I already mentioned. Let's get to shooting this a little bit and just look at recoil of this shotgun. This is something that I'm really interested in with it being such a light shotgun and a lower dollar shotgun. We'll see what the recoil is like. That's a big question mark. It actually mounts up really nice. I'm kind of surprised by that. Fits pretty well. All right, two shots down. I felt that, I'm not gonna lie. I felt that quite a bit in my face. In fact, I kind of feel it in the back of my neck a little bit. My teeth may be loosened up a little bit. Better hold that sucker tight because she's coming back. As far as reliability, 
I can't say much about reliability. It has no auto ejectors to look at, but I'd love to hear if you have a Stevens 555, what's your experience been? Shooting this gun in the field, has there been issues? How many rounds till it wears out? That's one of the things with a gun like this is if you're shooting high volume, this is definitely not the gun for you. If you're gonna go pheasant hunt once a year, twice a year, not gonna shoot many rounds, sure, it's gonna be easy to carry in the field. Let's pull one off the machine here. Big old mess, pull. There we go. Thoughts on recoil, it hurts. I'm gonna be blunt and honest with you guys as I always try to do. And I'm always looking at guns relative to price point too. So I try to give even the lesser dollar guns a fair shake. My shoulder hurts, my face hurts. I shot it just a little bit off camera to get a feel for it. Back of my neck hurts. Jordan got a little time behind the gun. He said he thinks his teeth got loosened up a little bit too. So we both had similar experiences. Just gonna be honest, a lot, a lot of recoil. These are ounce and an eighth target loads. Could you imagine what this would feel like shooting hunting loads? That baby's gonna boot you. This might be a light gun, but it does pack a heavy punch. I'm not trying to trash the gun. I'm just observing what I feel, and I don't feel good at all. But let's break this gun apart really, really quick. That lever feels kind of chintzy. There we go. And let's take the barrels off. This plate on the back side of the receiver has a Phillips screw into it. That's quite a bit different than most your over-under shotguns. I just feel like with the materials on this, it's not gonna last a terribly long time. I could be wrong. If you have a Stevens 555 and you shot 10,000 rounds, let me know. Just nothing real smooth about it, nothing real sexy about this shotgun. It's kind of a plain finish, but it is a value shotgun. Enough talking, let's get back to shooting and then let's get some ibuprofen, but let's see. Hey, maybe I can shoot this gun super fast. Maybe by the end of this, I'll change my mind and think, I'm keeping that bad boy. Let's get on the clock. See how fast I can shoot this Stevens 555. Whoa, right off the bat, first shot. You know, celebrating is not nearly the same when you don't have auto ejectors. I wanna see these shells just Yeah. All right, what was it, what was it? 119, not terrible. Took me 0.96 and I had 0.23 split. I'm gonna try it one more time, guys. Oh yeah, that was fast. That was fast, and no matter what, I'm done because my face hurts. 105, look at that. I'm shooting this faster than a lot of other shotguns. So I think I found the silver lining in this whole review. It's super light, I can mount it super fast. I can shoot it pretty fast. In fact, I got on 0.85 and a 2.0 split. So I'm cooking with this gun. There it is, that's your best feature of this gun. Quick to mount, fast shooting. My thoughts after shooting this, if you're considering a Stevens 555 for a few hundred more dollars, 300 more dollars or so, you can start getting into a category of a much nicer shooting shotgun. It might be a little heavier. I'm not here to tell you what to get. I'm here to show you the guns, give you my feedback and let you make decisions. So if you have a 555, I'd love to hear your experience down below. If you'd like to see me shoot any other value, cheaper, budget, whatever you wanna call them, economy over under shotguns, put that also down in the comments. But hey, thanks so much for watching. I appreciate each and every one of you. And whether you're in the field or in life, you're only gonna hit those shots that you're laser focused on. So live target focused. See ya.